And I'm Mr. Mark Black, and this week we are giving you the updates on our crazy criminals, okay, who happen to be all white men. Um, so starting with Mr. John McAfee, who if you guys don't know, is the creator, founder of McAfee Antivirus that harasses everybody with a PC. Um, and he dead, y'all. He dead, and speculations are, this is where for all my conspiracy theories is that he was not suicidal. He actually had mm -hmm. a tattoo on his arm saying schwacked because he believed that once the Spaniard government gave him up that the U.S. government was going to get him. So they he must say. have had the biggest tea of them all. Yes, honey. They Epstein him, honey. They Epstein him. Okay, he's out here with the likes of Epstein and Anthony Scalia murdered up in his sleep probably, okay? And that is crazy, but not as crazy as the switch in the plea which Mr. Drake Bell submitted from not guilty to guilty in his child endangerment case. So. Oh my God. So we talked about this. We talked about this about a month ago, yes. maybe two months ago. Mm -hmm. Drake Bell went over, where was it, Mexico? Yes. Caught himself Drake Campana as a whole image reinvention sort of thing and we smelled him yes. we smelled him sniffed him out and we were like hold up there are speculations that homeboy left because he was out here touching little girls mm -hmm. and let me just tell you he's always given me that whole douchey predatory vibe that like it's it's like it's, that whole weird like white guy thing where they're like your friend <laughs> but only your friend so that you they can make a move on you type shit like um the whole, uh, you know what, what speaks to that the most is when that whole thing happened when Josh got married and he was like yeah. tweeting out like, I see what it is now, brother. There, there's, the, the severs are tied, we're tied with nothing and fuck off and whatever. And then literally like a week later was like, all good. <laughs> like he's crazy, bro. And honestly, after that uh, plea switch up, I say <laughs> electric chair. Lock him up! Lock him up! Lock his ass or, up! Oh, electric chair! Electric chair! Okay. Off with his head! <laughs> Off with his head! Okay. And speaking of somebody else who got the verdict they deserved, okay, I know everybody right now is celebrating in the streets because Mr. Derek Chauvin, the officer responsible mainly, the number one officer responsible for the murder of George, excuse me, of George Floyd, is now sentenced to twenty-two and a half years in prison. So that's a whole lifetime. That's a whole lifetime. And honestly, as happy as I am, I am applauding. I am very happy. Our justice system needs to be reformed. I it's super bittersweet. Um, Mark and I definitely talked about it before because it's not the end. Like sentencing this man to two and a half years definitely is a step towards progress because then in the future, um, other officers who commit this gravity will be handled accordingly and there is a history that has been set in place with this sentencing however it, it is not the end it, it, it is not an end all be all um by sentencing yes and i but, think that honestly a lot of this came from you know all the all the protests all the pushback all the people making their voices heard and saying this is not right and we are not going to stand for this but we need to be diligent and we need to keep our foot on their neck because we all know that they are going to file appeals and trying to manipulate this narrative more and more, try to switch it up and make it seem like he wasn't the only one there, you know, responsible or, you know, something about George Floyd's past justified him doing that, which again, none of that is relevant. None of that justifies murdering a human being. He knew George Floyd, yes. he knew him. So the fact that he did this to him gives some sort of preemptive intention to it all. So a an example must be made 
It's you, boo. Yes, and he had a it's history of, of, of aggression mm -hmm. on the job. He had like something like 19 complaints against him. Uh, Hello. You know, honestly, and it, like Jay said, it speaks to our justice system. And guys, we have to be diligent, okay? Everybody, like I said, don't take it away from yourself. Celebrate, but pay attention. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on it, okay? Because we watching you. Keep your eyes on the prize. Okay. Tune in for the next episode. Bye, guys.